right, in this video I will be doing some basic data analysis. Uh, the data source I'm using is my previous month's uh, cell phone records. And I want to answer two questions. Who calls me the most? And at what time is phone activity most active? The tools I'll be using are the pivot table and charts. The left, right, trim, and integer function of Excel. All right, and let's get started. So I pulled my cell phone records just from the T-Mobile website. I basically just copied and pasted this into Excel. And here they are. Looks like I'm missing the heading. So let's go back and put that in quickly. So this is date and time, destination, number, minute, type, and charge. All right. So let's unwrap that. All right, so we're ready. Uh, first thing I need to do is I get the date. Uh, because this Excel doesn't recognize this as a date. Um, so I will need to uh, split the date and time. And let me see how I do this. I can use a uh, function called left, but I need to find out how many characters is this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 characters. So we'll go uh, going left, left, and that's B2, and I'll be going 10 characters to the left. That gives me the date. And then now I need to get the time. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. I will need, probably need to go 8 because right here it's 8 o'clock and uh, here it's 12 o'clock so there is an, uh, an extra number in there so I want to include that the, the 10 placeholder so that was I forgot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so I need to go 8 right um, B2 8 It looks like I have a uh, a trailing uh, a trailing uh, space. First, let's go ahead and turn these into uh, values, and then there's a function called trim that I can remove any uh, leading or ending extra space. That looks good. Copy that. Copy here as values only. what happened here so this is up oh, I think I did something wrong so let's go ahead and then redo the time I don't know what it was I think I copied things in the wrong area so that was the uh, right function and that was I said it was eight eight characters and then there is a, uh, a leading zero here as values yeah that looks right okay and then now I need to trim it trim the uh, leading zeros and the trailing zeros if there are any trailing zeros I, uh, there aren't any and then that looks good copy here as values only 
Yep, everything looks good. All right, I, can't, I don't need this anymore. Let's call this uh, date, time. And we'll move this to the front. And one thing I need to do is I need to um, round down anything in the eighth hour down to the eighth hour. For example, here I want it to be eight o'clock. Uh, 747 I want it to round down to 7 o'clock 440 I want to round that to 4 o'clock so that way I can get a good idea uh, like a, a consolidation of the, uh, the the calls within that hour in order to do that I need to uh, create another column I'll be rounding it down one hour so one zero zero so that is an hour and in Excel's So this was what one hour is in Excel's uh, 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 formatting system or uh, way of calculating time. So I need to use the integer function for that. I need to divide that by one hour to get down to the hour and then multiply that again by the number of hours. And uh, that looks good. All right, Let's see what that is in time. Eight o'clock, which is good. Now I probably need to lock this F4, F4, and just drag that down. Eight, eight, seven, four. That looks good. And uh, we'll just call this interval. Copy, paste. I want to paste that as values All right I don't need that anymore let's get rid of that and now I am ready for the pivot table go to insert pivot table and I will probably want it to go in a new sheet my screen is pretty tiny so here um, let's go back to our questions what are we trying to do our first question is who calls me the most to get that, all I need to do is get the number. Uh, this is the phone number of the person that calls me, their phone number. And then I would go to uh, minutes. So for example here, <laughs> this call is one, two, three. I, don't know, I think that's a voicemail. Uh, go to here, sort, and I want to go largest to smallest. So there you have it, the number one phone number that call me and I talk to or that I call out is this number by a substantial amount. Um, yeah, that's uh, maybe more than quadruple of anyone else. Our second question to answer is, at what time is my phone activity the most active? Uh, so we'll Let's see if there is uh, here. I wonder if I can do something else here. It's not, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just get rid of that. And to get the, uh, the time, at what time? So we call that the interval. And there you have it. Uh, it looks like at 7 p.m. I get the most, or I talk the most. I have the most activities. And another way to look at this is to do some uh, groupings. So from seven, eight, nine, we'll just do it by a three hours interval. We'll group that selection. And then 10, 11, 12, we'll group that selection. One to three, we'll group that selection. Uh, four, five, six, we'll group that selection. Seven, eight, nine, we'll group that selection. And 10, 11, 12, we'll group that selection. Whoops, let's undo that. I don't think I selected the third one. Group selection. All right, 
So there I have it. Uh, I have six groups. I group the, them all here. We'll just give it a name. We'll call it um, 7 to 9 p.m. And then group this group is 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, this here is 1 to 3 p.m. This here is 10 to noon. 10 to noon. Group 1, um, 7 to 9. And this group 6 is uh, 10 to midnight. <laughs> I don't know why my phone is active during midnight, but, uh, or, yeah, it's midnight, wow. Uh, 10 to midnight. And let's collapse all. And now we'll do a little, we'll do a little um, graph with this pivot chart. So there you have it. At what time, or at what time is phone activity the most active? Well, it looks like phone activity is most active from phone is most active from four to six and seven to nine, and within that four to six and seven to nine, it looks like the seventh hour. I get the most phone call. So we'll go ahead and uh, see if I can. Yes. So 7 o'clock, see if I can make this into a percentage. Is there a percentage? Some count fill value as a percent of grand total. Oh, okay, there you have it. So around over 25% of my calls are around 4 to 6 and 7 to 9. And if I ungroup all of that, 7 o'clock alone takes up over um, takes up over 17% of my phone usage. 10 o'clock seems a little busy as well. <laughs> That's interesting. So let's go ahead and collapse that. So there you go. It's uh, from four to nine is the most active uh, phone usage wise. And I have to say that is probably my most uh, unproductive time of the day as well. So that concludes our uh, little video on data analysis. See you next time.